Do you want to try out something new in your miniature painting? Hi everyone, my name is Omni Ming and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to paint a cell shaded comic book style for your miniature. Let's get to it. Now before we begin, we should also understand how cell shading works. So here's a comic that I have. In short, there should be like three tones of color. So mostly there's solid color and there's a shadow at the bottom and the highlight on the top. Next is our subject. I'm going to be working on this Orc Boss Knob from the Orc Boys Army with its Power Claw and Slugger. The method to do cell shading is to use black primer. But wait, isn't it easier to use white primer? Primergate white can make the color stand out but the huge issue comes in later. When you start painting the black strokes, it can get really stressful to cover up all the inside and outside. And after painting so many, I felt like the black primer, all you have to do is just go on top of the areas and just leave the edges with the black primer and then just tidy it up afterwards. The tools I'm going to use is a base brush and a thin brush. The next one is an optional to so have this thing. This is called a head magnifier. They're pretty comfortable. It does not even have issues with the glasses as well. You can put glasses on. Watch me. Okay, so I'm going to put glasses. And it goes right in there easily. It does not have any problems. And also, this is detachable. And there's a lot more. And this is why I actually do like this brand. It's actually, it's actually a cheap brand. It's Works just great for me. Oh, plus there's a light. <laughs> it's pretty good. All right, let's begin. First, I will use a very strong, bright, intense color. So for this orc skin, I'm using Moot Green. Okay, here's a little disclaimer. I apologize for this part in the video. I didn't check on the footages, and it turns out that this part is pretty blur. So yeah, I apologize in advance. Anyway, back to the video. So paint it around the middle. Just be careful not to touch the edge. But if you did, just paint over black and correct the mistake. It's that easy. Green colors added. Now to add highlights. I use contrast caradras green. Add it on the sides that you think the shadow would be. Now that is done. Let's finish up with the lighting. I use Ice Yellow from AK Interactive. Painting this should be like, if you see like the anime lighting, yeah, try following that. The skin is complete. Now we're gonna move to red color. For this, I use Evil Sun Scarlet. Just add the red colors in the designated areas. There's no need for highlight this time because the red areas and the black gets a little bit like a dark and light area. Just add more layers if you want it brighter. However, if you still want to add some lighting, you can add some white from AK Interactive. The red is looking good. Now let's move on to the next part. For the main blue color, I'm using Keldor Blue for the medium. So once again, don't color the whole block. Instead, color the place where you would think the light will shine and avoid the edges. The red is looking good. Now let's move on to the next part. For the lower shadow, I add Mephiston Red. I got the idea of adding blue and red on the top and the bottom from Epic Dark Studios Venom Painting. So I'll just find the areas there is black and put more of those Mephiston red. I also don't have to do a two thin coat, I can just do one thin because it is actually pretty dark. And here's the results, looking pretty good. Adding some lighting on the jacket, I'm going to use some Lotharn Blue. I gotta need some volume, so I'm gonna add some white color.
The next part is yellow. So I'm gonna make the fact that yellow is gold color. And the only striking yellow that I got is Imperial Fist. But it's not really a good idea to add a yellow on black because you're not gonna get a good result. See, the yellow is too weak on black. So the solution is to add some white, follow up with yellow. Now to paint the bones, I'm using Screaming Skull. By the way, if you're seeing the there's, um, the fact that I'm holding the left side, that's Upshanting Bones. I was actually experimenting to see if it worked. But right now, I actually like Screaming Skull better. So I'm just going to stick to that. The miniature's coming out great. Now we're going to move on to the next part. We're going to tackle the grey area. So, I'm going to use Administrum Grey. The areas I'm going to hit is at the pants area, along with any metallic areas, so such as the boots or the jacket zips. We're going to move on to the next color, which is brown. So, let's begin with Scrag Brown. They're going to be applied on the boots. and the strap areas. The next brown, Doombull Brown. This part is just mainly going to the gun holster. And finally the highlights. That's just going to be ice yellow. For the lace, I'm using Army Painter's Mummy Robe. This thing is to be added on both the lace and the bandages. Time to add another part of the gold. So I'm gonna use XV88 for the base. For this, I have to use the style via Dark to Light. Because the falling colors needs a base, as the lighter color cannot be supported on black color. As the bright color is the Messy Desert. Gonna apply it right on top of the XB88. And to follow up, we're gonna add some ice yellow. Oh, if you want to know a secret, you're actually making gold non metallic metal right now. Almost there, guys. We're gonna have to paint this war banner. We're gonna add some Evil Sun Scarlet. And then the highlight, Wild Rider Ray. Time to finalize this model. We're gonna add some white, some ice yellow, along with some shadow if we ever need it. Here it is, the cell shader star for your miniature. So remember, use black primer, use bright colors, have three tones of colors, normal color, dark, and the light color. Add a little bit of lining to go and touch up some of the colors. Thank you so much for reaching this far in the video, it means a lot to me. And I'll be making more videos in the future for more miniature paintings and probably more of my journeys as well. As well as, mm, like, I need to work on the other things such as the Death Copter and the Death Dread at the same time. And <laughs> there's a lot more models coming very soon. And so I prob you probably will see more painting videos. Uh, if there's more suggestions, do tell me. And also, if you like the content, uh, do drop me a like and subscribe down below. 
and I hope to see you again next time. This is Omni Ming saying goodbye, good luck, have fun miniature painting. I'll see you guys.